hi everyone this is mrs shockley welcome back to my channel um i know i had a bit of a delay last week um earlier last week i injured my foot somehow i don't know how i did that you know how you try those new exercise routines and you turn something just right or do something just right and things just fall apart so last week my foot just started to swell this week it's a little bit better it's still a little sore there's still a little bit of swelling but it's much better and I can walk a little better um, so this week coming up um, it's gonna be my birthday so I'm taking Friday off to go to the new cake bake shop in Carmel some of you who follow my blog may have seen blog posts from the cake bake shop in Broad Ripple and that's the first location that was open so I've been to that one twice and I love it. The one in Carmel is much bigger, so I'm looking forward to that visit on Friday. I'm hoping to get one of her new uh, teacup and saucer combinations. She started her own um, China line with Linux, which I think is fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to that visit. Um, today's video is gonna be a what's in my bag. My last video was my new Gucci uh, Raja tote. So this week I'm gonna share what I have inside. And sometimes I flop um, different wallets and makeup bags, so I'll show those to you guys when the fall is when fall is approaching. I think tomorrow is the first day of autumn, so I'm looking forward to cooler temperatures. Um, yesterday, our air conditioning unit went kerplunk, so we had to have some parts replaced in it. I'm sorry, I'm really done with the heat. And my husband then tells me that the, farm, the farmer's almanac predicts that the winter's gonna be pretty bad. Eh, it's Indiana, we expect it to be horrible. So, um, you know, it is what it is, but I'm really looking forward to those cooler temperatures. I uh, just, I park pretty far from my building and walking in 80 degree weather at 8.15 in the morning, it's not ideal. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to those 50 degree mornings. So. Um, right now, let's go ahead and do a close-up of what's in my bag. So let's go, go ahead and get started with the what's in my bag. Let's do another shot of uh, the Gucci Raja Toad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pronounce her name right. The tiger is, um, let's see, influenced by Hattie Carnegie. Her name was Hattie Carnegie. I went ahead and Googled her and looked her up and read about her history. It's wonderful history. She was a, um, a fashion designer back in the 1930s and 40s. Her family's Jewish. And um, she started off being, a, um, I think, an errand or a messenger for Macy's, which I think is a fantastic job to have in the 1930s. And then that's how she got her start. Lucille Ball also modeled for her her jewelry and clothing before she became famous so that was also a fun little fact so it's Hattie Carnegie who um who inspired the the Gucci Raja line so I really love it let's start off first with all of my items I'll take everything out there this is actually attached to the purse which most of you remember my wallet and my spray. So this is pretty much everything that's inside my bag. That's my um, elevator car key and uh, ID for my job. So I need to show that. So most of you know about my Ted Baker wallet that I picked up at um, in Miami and Florida. Oh gosh, it's a little messy. <laughs> so I'll take those receipts and throw them away. But this is my wallet pretty much. Um, just flip through everything really quickly because you know wallets are very private <laughs> so I'll place that there this here is my makeup case this is actually a clutch that I just ordered from the Ann Taylor factory line it just arrived this week this was my makeup clutch that I will makeup bag that I was carrying but um, I figure it's a little more summery and I took it out and cleaned it out and actually put it in the washer um, to have it washed as it was really dirty so I've uh, transferred everything to this and I'm giving this a, a whirl this is velvet so I'll link it below if it's available on the Ann Taylor factory website but I actually love it. it's actually a small evening clutch you can carry but I love using these for makeup bags I mean they're just the perfect size for me so in here I've got my uh, Clinique chubby stick it's in um, 
what is it chunky cherries my favorite lipstick color i love that it's my eyeliner my hand lotion from clarins this is the mandarin scent yep the mandarin scent um this is my organic spray hand sanitizer and i take this everywhere with me i love that this is my um philosophy amazing grace spray i always put it in a smaller bottle so i can take it with me especially when you come back from lunch when you go outside and you come back in you smell like the outside i hate that so i always spray this on just to kind of refresh a little bit this you guys i love this will be on my this week's uh, september favorites this i picked up recently at the fashion mall this is the estee lauder lip balm lip conditioner and I absolutely love it. It's got a little pink hint to it. I am such a lip balm, lip chapstick kind of person. It's got just enough shine to it. Um, and I absolutely love this. So it's a great color. My eyelash glue, of course, have to keep it handy because <laughs> it happens where they come off. This is my pink blush. It's a little messy right now, but that's what I use to give myself a little color on the cheeks. Um, this is my... Audil Facial Spray, the Beauty Elixir. I love that. It's nice to spray this mist on your face for those hot summer days that we've been having recently. I have an extra hair clip, more chapstick. This is the uh, Lush Balm from Antica Pharmacista sample. I actually love that too. Uh, my friend gave me this little mirror. Not something I pick out, but... I kept it and I also have this little mini hairbrush and that's all I have in my makeup bag that's what you want to call this I call it my survivor kit <laughs> so I have everything I need and everything I need to grab everything that I want so it's a little packed but that's working also have this with me this is another facial spray the fresh rose floor toner I love this. It smells just like roses. Actually, you can spray this on your body too. It smells great. You smell just like fresh roses. This is these are my sunglasses. My Gucci sunglasses, of course. I got the Gucci bag now, so that's great. These I will be flopping out because I normally wear these in the summer, not in the winter. So these are the other makeup bags that I normally switch over to or wallets. So I'll move this out of the way. This wallet is a wallet I normally carry in the fall or winter. This is a Gucci two-tone leather wallet that I picked up at the um, at the outlet mall a couple of years ago. And I love this. I love the gray and the cream. It's a great combination with the coach and gold. I love that. This is another little long wallet that I picked up at DSW for $10. Actually, I love the pink blush and the gold. This is another one that I may flop into. And some of you may remember this. This is the Kate Spade Travel Wallet that was on my blog two years ago. I may switch into that this winter. This is also another makeup case that I may switch into from that. This I carry in the winter. I love the huge pearl faux balls on here. And this is actually pretty massive, but I love this thing. And this I may dump all of my makeup my survivor kit stuff in here this i picked up at banana republic last year this sold out very quickly and i actually saw a few of these on poshmark if any of you uh, do any shopping on poshmark you should check that out you probably will find it's pretty cheap and this is another um velvet uh, clutch that i picked up from ann taylor last winter this is another makeup case that i may flip flop or transfer into in the winter so I've got the red velvet, and now I've got the blue velvet. So these are just a few items that I may switch into. So I hope you all enjoyed my What's in Your Bag. I try to go through it as quickly as possible. I don't want the videos to be too long. Um, hopefully this weekend I'll do a video. I'm not quite sure. Um, with it being my birthday, we may be running around and doing a few things, so I may get to do one. It may not. I know there is a request for me to do a, um, a closet tour. So right now, I don't want to do one. I've got bags in my closet that I've got to donate to Dress for Success Thursday. I'll be there Thursday volunteering. So um, right now, I really don't want to do a closet tour because I've gone, I've gone through everything and there's stuff everywhere. And I've got a bag going to the Goodwill and I've got a bag going to Dress for Success. So it's not really in order right now. So 
but I will be doing that here in the next few weeks. Um, I hope you all have a great week. Thanks to everyone who made comments on my um, Elegance Tested Part 2 <laughs> blog post. Uh, it makes me feel good that I am not the only one who's having people problems. It's not my intention to go out and be rude. You guys should know that. I never want to do that. I'm not a rude person. But I don't know. I've had an influx of just nut cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs people. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the environment. I don't know if it's, if it's people's personal problems. Everyone is upset. Everyone's hostile, especially here in Indiana with the recent road closures. You have to seriously be on guard driving here. It's gotten so bad and everyone's upset. I mean, I see other people screaming profanity at other people every day. And it's, it's so depressing to me. It's just, I, it really makes me sad seeing the behavior. It really does. Because I know here in the next few years, my kid is going to be on the road. Our youngest daughter will be driving here soon. So it's very frightening. But um, thank you to all who made comments. Thank you to Kathleen for sharing her story. Um, I'm re <laughs> that really helped me. I'm no Now I know I'm not the only one who has trouble at Walmart. I'm sure many of us do. Thank you to Maya for also sharing her story. It's just, it's really insane that people are just having a fit like they are. So I don't know what it is, but... um. Let's continue on with our grace and elegance as hard as it may be um, because I keep telling myself in the end that we'll win. So have a great week. Um, my September favorites will be on my blog uh, this week. So um, I hope you all share, um, enjoy that and maybe get some ideas of some products you can pick up. Oh, this will be on there too. This beautiful little faux pearl necklace I picked up at H&M for $5.99. I love that. So this is actually very pretty and I enjoy it. Have a great week and thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub subscribe if you enjoy my channel and um, give this video a thumbs up. See you soon. Bye now.